Hey, welcome. Today we're going to make a really simple dessert from the middle section of Portugal. This section of Portugal is above Lisbon, but below Douro. It's referred to as Beta, and it includes uh, probably the most famous town is Coimbra, the famous university town, also Figueira de Foge, and Alcange. It's basically a cornmeal porridge, papage de curul, and it's made in a very similar style to a roj doce, which is a extremely popular Portuguese rice dish that's cooked with milk and often decorated with cinnamon powder. And this dessert also does that. It's thought that in this area of Portugal, sometimes rice wasn't available. They still wanted to have that something similar to that famous dessert. But instead of rice, you have cornmeal. And like a hoj dos, you have orange zest and lemon zest. It's so popular in the beta area that you could go to a lot of festivals that have this as a featured dish. One of those is in the area of Alcange. You can see from these pictures that they actually build little fires underneath really big pots and just stir up these papage de curul. So today I'm using this brand of cornmeal, but there are many others available. Sometimes these will be labeled polenta, but they come in different coarsenesses. So I believe papage de curul originally was the milled corn and it was pretty coarse texture. Now it's harder to find that really coarse texture of the milled corn, but depending on the coarseness of the recipe will determine how long you cook it. So I would just follow the directions that came with your cornmeal. Like this one only says to cook it for five minutes. So we'll begin by heating up one quart or one liter of whole milk. I like to add about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder to the milk. You also, if you have a cinnamon stick, could just put a cinnamon stick now, let that simmer, then take it out when, you, when you're ready. And now we'll put in some zest of orange. We'll also put in some lemon zest. One teaspoon of salt. About a half cup of sugar. And for richness, you don't see this in a lot of recipes, but I like putting in a half stick of butter, which is about four tablespoons. And now I'll let this come up to a simmer just below boiling, somewhere between like 180 and 200 degrees Fahrenheit. After the milk gets to a simmer, you want to let it simmer for at least like five to 10 minutes just to extract some of the flavor from the orange and lemon peel. Once it gets to that simmering temperature, turn the temp down a little bit and let it simmer for about five or 10 minutes just to extract some of the flavor from the lemon peel. And if you put it in a cinnamon stick, it'll take a little bit of time to extract some flavor from that. Okay, the milk's been simmering for about 10 minutes. I will extract the orange and lemon peel. This next step is the most important step of the process. It's not difficult, but if you hurry it, you could get big clumps in your porridge and it's really hard to get out. So a couple things that help out, don't have it at a full boil. And also, if you have a second person, while you are whisking, have that other person put in the cornmeal, just slowly putting it in. Also, the lower the simmer, the more time you're gonna have to make sure there's no clumps. Because what would happen if I just, if this was boiling and I just dumped this in, then grab my whisk, like even five seconds later, it's already gonna start clumping up. And once those grains clump up, they're nearly impossible to unclump. So again, while stirring, I'll just slowly add in the cornmeal. And keep on mixing until it starts to really thicken up. You'll see that once it starts to thicken up, it'll start bubbling like lava and it actually could splatter pretty easily, especially if you walk away from it. Once it starts bubbling almost like it's lava, turn the heat down to a very low temperature and then just continue to cook for as long as it's said to do so on the package. After it's really started to thicken up, you could switch to like a rubber spatula or a wooden spoon. I do have another poppage recipe made with wheat flour that my grandmother used to make me on my channel if you care to look at that. It's really easy to make. Kids tend to like it too. It's almost like a pudding. And you can see how much thicker it is. It really sticks to the sides of the spatula. And as this cools off, it'll just get thicker. Some other Portuguese recipes I have that use cornmeal are milo frito and this recipe from the Algarve area of Portugal that uses cornmeal mixed in with seafood. Very popular in that southern region of Portugal. Okay, now we'll just get the papage de curul and put it in your dish. And maybe just give it a little bit of a shake to settle down. And at this point, you could 
Sprinkle it with some cinnamon, serve it really warm like this. I'm gonna let it cool off and decorate the top. A lot of times they just do those traditional diamond rows with cinnamon powder like you'll see on a hoish dos. If you have a really steady hand, another thing you could do, if you have stencils, like some of these cake de decorating stencils are really cheap and you just could sprinkle on the cinnamon sugar. So I'm gonna let this cool off, probably about 15 to 25 minutes in the refrigerator. Then I'll decorate the top with the cinnamon sugar. And then tomorrow, well, before serving it, I'll put it in the microwave for just a few minutes, just until I can tell it feels a little warm. So if you're warming it up a little bit, do it very gently or put it in a low oven, maybe like a 200 degree oven for 15 minutes, just to take the chill off of it. Okay, it's been chilling for about 20 minutes. Now I'll use my stencil to decorate with cinnamon powder. Thanks for joining me. Now you can make this delicious porridge, papage de kudul from the Beta region of Portugal. Go out and cook with somebody you love.